What's going on everybody? Come back. Let's check out the video cameras that Mid-10 Outdoors uses to do his videoing. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the cameras I use for videoing, including the one you're watching right now. So, my main one when I'm hiking and... Um, camping is probably going to be always be this one because it's on the little this little expandable pole all you do is twist and the pole comes out more so it turns into a selfie stick as you can see um, I'll leave a link to all these items down below that you can uh, purchase yourself off of Amazon if you want to this is the X series uh, pole. I like the pole. Um, you can even tilt the camera however you want to tilt it for whatever you're wanting to do with it. <clears throat> Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's not it's not uh, you know the latest greatest thing I'm sure, but uh, it does have a comfortable foam pad here, and you know when you're walking you can hold it out here. Now, no, I do not have a flip-up screen on this camera, and this is the Canon. Uh, Elf series 190 is um, eventually I'll get to that this camera is still a 720 camera not a 1080 so I'll you know eventually will upgrade but right now it works it does what I need to do um, all my hiking videos my truck videos that kind of stuff I'll do off of this camera uh, because it is small and that's what I do like is it's small and it's a you know little package um, a lot of the Jeep stuff you've seen has been filmed on the GoPro. This is a Hero Sessions. Uh, this is the first generation of it. It works pretty good. It has some glitchy software when it comes to running it on the phone. Um, but, you know, you get beyond it. A lot of times I just press the record button and record what's going on. I uh, don't even pick up the phone to do it. This is another... Um, action camera it's a cheaper action camera i will put the link to all this stuff down below if you want to see any of them and purchase any of them uh it works pretty good i this is the camera actually that i filmed all of the fall creek falls video with um even the pictures that were taken were done with this camera because i forgot to bring this camera i brought uh this one another camera and I just ended up the whole weekend shooting it off of this, see how it went, and it did pretty good. And that was outside of the case. I will say this camera inside the case, your microphone does not work because it's inside the case. But you do have a, let me see, let's fire it up. You do have a uh, screen on the back so you can preview what's going on. There's no video card in it right now because it's actually in this next camera coming up. I need to buy another small um uh, video card but anyway it's it's a good little camera i mean if you'll watch the footage from fall creek falls it was all shot on this little camera uh audio and everything come off of this camera the way it is so i didn't change anything didn't add anything do anything different with it just shot with it um so the next camera is a 360 now this is another it's not a top name brand or anything and actually, I haven't shot, I mean, I've been toying with it. I haven't really put up a video from it yet, but I'm working on doing that here pretty quick. Um, but so far, the little, I mean, it's interesting how this works. Both of these are 4K cameras. Uh, they say they are, and I will say the 4K part of it is probably not top notch. Um, just saying, okay? So that's all these little cameras here. Give me just a second and I'll show you the very last camera that we use. Okay, now for the very last camera that I use for the most part when I'm filming indoors and I'll be doing some other filming with this before long is my Canon Vixia, was it the RF 800? Yeah, HF 800R, something like that. I'll put, put it down at the bottom. Um, with this, I have the Vitar wide angle lens as you'll see of course it has the touch screen then on top I have a KF concept 
CM500 microphone. So this is the shotgun mic that I use on this camera. Um, and this is what I was using on my uh, older camera there at the end. But, um, you know, this is a 1080p. Um, it does shoot pictures, but I never use this to shoot pictures. I always use the little blue Canon to shoot pictures with, which is what I'm recording the rest of this video on. So, anyway, um, that is my uh, setup. This is just a generic um, stabilizer that I bought off of Amazon. I'll put it, I think it's already in the link below, but I'll put another link just to this. 15 bucks. I believe in, you know, trying to get by as cheaply as I can. I know that's kind of bad, but like this microphone wasn't very expensive either. So anyway, that's the equipment we use right now. I'll do a little more in depth on this Canon. Um, I'm loving it so far. I'll take it back. Um, the last outdoor video shot of um, the month of love was shot on this camera. So that was an outdoor video using that lens and the microphone. But um, eventually I'll get a little light. I'll get some kind of, you know, offshoot, put a light or something on it. We'll figure out something. We'll get, we'll get the light and everything. Um, we'll be taking this on some of our other adventures, but we'll also be taking that because it shoots good video, I think. Um, it's pretty neat. A lot of my uh, other pictures are taken on this camera. Uh, that I upload to Instagram, uh, use on the web page, um, because it is a Wi-Fi camera. I can uh, instantaneously dump it over to the iPhone, ba boom, and um, upload it right then and there. So that's how that happens when I'm on shoots and that kind of stuff. When you see a picture come out and think, well, that video didn't come out for a week or two. Nope, that's because I was able to dump them off of this camera Put them on my phone, pop them up. This is what I'm doing today, and you'll see it in a couple of weeks. So anyway, that's the camera setup for Mid-10 Outdoors. Um, that's what we use. It's working so far. Uh, the most not budget camera we've got so far is that right there, but I won this, and somebody, some mysterious person, don't know who'd sent it, sent me the lenses. This is actually the telephoto uh, lens that will go on this camera and then I can take the big lens off if I don't want to lug it around. And I have these filters that I can actually screw on this camera and does all the lighting for me. And, and, hang on, it's in this one. I have a butterfly that will go in the front of this. So, We'll do some shooting without the big wide lens one day and uh, we'll see how it works. Um, we'll take it to its limits. All right, guys, this is Patrick Mitchell Outdoors. Be prepared. <laughs>